tucked away in the rapidly evolving corridors of Lagos State lies the ongoing construction of a bridge and road that could change everything for communities in Ekwe, Ibejuleki, and beyond. This is Omo Creek. For decades, it's been just another body of water on the map, a scenic divide between the rural farmlands of Ekwe and the fast-rising urban frontiers of Ibejuleki. But for the people who live here, who cross it every day, it has been a barrier, a difficult, muddy, sometimes dangerous crossing. Now that barrier is being broken, right here, a major bridge is under construction, quiet, unpublicized, yet powerful, a link between past and future, between isolation and access. It may not be the biggest project in Lagos, but it may be one of the most impactful. Because this bridge is not just connecting roads, it's connecting lives. Farmers, traders, school children, transporters, all will now have a shorter, faster and more reliable route. It's part of a bigger story, one that is shaping the future of rural Lagos. As Ekwe grows, as Ibeduleki becomes an industrial hub, as real estate and agriculture collide, this bridge will become one of the most important links in the chain. In this video, I'll be sharing everything you need to know, the purpose, the construction, the people it affects and what this project says about where Lagos is going. Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel, my name is Bella and today I am here to show you one of the ongoing projects in Lagos State. Though this project seems hidden, there is no much details about it and there is no attention on it like what is happening on the coastal road. But I'm here to show you what is actually happening here. The project is actually to connect Ekpe to Ibejuleki. So I'll be showing you what is actually happening right here on this project, which is the Omu Creek Bridge and Road project right here in Ibejuleki. Right behind me is the entrance from Songotedo and back is where the bridge, the road leads to, which is going to be connecting Ekpe. There are different villages, different communities around those areas so this road is meant to open up those villages those communities and link and give access to those places so guys follow me as i show you what is actually ongoing on the omu creek road and bridge project right here in ibajuleki lagos nigeria to truly understand the omu creek project you have to zoom out this isn't just a bridge in a remote part of lagos it's a link in one of the most economically strategic regions in all of West Africa. Over the past decade, the Leki Ekwe Corridor has evolved from scattered villages and farmlands into a booming industrial and residential hotspots. We are talking about a zone that now houses African's largest oil refinery, one of Nigeria's busiest spots, and what will soon be the country's newest international airport. But here is the issue. Most of the development is happening close to the coastline. Meanwhile, the inland communities, the very ones feeding Lagos with food, labor and land are cut off. This is where the Omo Creek Bridge comes in. Strategically located between Ekwe and Ibejuleki Corridor, it creates a much needed inland shortcut. Bypassing the congested Leki Ekwe Expressway and opening access to thousands of hectares of underutilized land. The Omo Creek project includes the construction of a dual lane bridge and an access road linking the Leki Ekwe corridor directly across the Omo Creek. At full completion, the road will reduce travel time between Ekwe and key industrial areas of Lekki, cutting down detours through densely populated rural routes. The bridge itself spans several hundred meters, crossing the narrow but deep Omo Creek. It's a strategic bypass that opens up new development zones and reduces pressure on the existing roads like the Lekki Ekwe Expressway. 
For years, this water body isolated farmers from their buyers, kept school children from crossing during rainy season, and made transporting goods risky and expensive. The breed changes that forever. And yet, this project isn't making the headlines. No media blitz, just quite progress and real impact. Let's now take a closer look at how this bridge is being built and what makes the engineering so challenging. Building a bridge across a waterway is never easy, but building one across a creek like Omu with swamping terrain, unpredictable weather and limited access routes is a real engineering challenge. The Omu Creek Bridge is designed as a reinforced concrete deck on pie structure. What that means is, it's elevated above ground using deep concrete piles driven into the earth to create a stable foundation, essential for wetland like this. The piling work is deep in some areas, going down more than 50 meters below the creek bed. That's to ensure the bridge can withstand both the water flow and the shifting soft terrain beneath. On either side of the bridge will be the access road, compacted, graded and elevated to prevent flooding during rainy season. Road shoulders, culverts and drain channels will also be constructed to prevent against erosion. Materials didn't come easy. Much of it had to be ferried in via badges and rural routes, especially during peak rainfall. Yet the team pushed through. It's not just commuters who benefit. For farmers in Omu and surrounding towns and villages, this bridge means easier access to markets in Lekki and Lagos mainland. For school children, it means safer faster transports and for real estate developers it unlocks new frontier of accessible land the omo creek bridge is part of a broader rural urban integration strategy led by governor babajide sonwolu's administration through the ministry of works and infrastructure while there is no publicly announced delivery dates site activities suggests that the project is already in advanced stages with a lot of construction works progressing rapidly as of July 2025. This fits into Lagos broader master plan connecting Lekki to Ekbe and even beyond through modern infrastructure. With the Lekki deep sea ports, Dangote refinery and free trade zone already drawing investments Access roads like this are essential. It's part of a bigger vision to decongest central Lagos and distribute growth evenly across the entire state, especially into Ekpe and Ibejuleki, which are fast becoming real estate hotbeds. For the residents here, that means better living conditions, more job opportunities, and a future where location is no longer a barrier to progress. Every major project faces others and the Omo Creek Bridge is no exception. From limited access roads to moving materials through swamping terrain and on boats, the logistics alone are complex. But the hope is clear in Lagos where inner communities are not left behind, where infrastructure doesn't just serve the elites but the everyday commuter, farmer, trader and students. As Lagos marches forward in the urban revolution, the Omu Creek Road and Bridge stand as a symbol of progress, resilience and quiet transformation. This may not be the most glamorous project in the state but is certainly one of the most impactful. Have you been to Omu? or the surrounding villages or towns? Tell us in the comments what this development means to you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more in-depth coverage of real infrastructural stories happening across Nigeria. 
see you in the next video